Now, the construction problem that we have before us to solve says that using a ruler and a pair of compasses only, construct a triangle ABC such that side AB is 5 centimeters, side AC is 7 centimeters, and angle BAC is 120 degrees. And we have other questions under it, like constructing locus L1 of points, which are equidistant from A and C, from the points A and C and the locus L2 of points that are 4.5 centimeters from C. So to solve this question, we will need to first make a rough sketch of the construction work. And what does a rough sketch do? A rough sketch helps us to know to which side of the paper the construction work will tilt and we'll be able to make plans even before the construction starts. So with this problem on our hands, we are going to start with the side AC which is seven centimeters. It seems to be the longer side. So our sketch, rough sketch, we don't even need a ruler to do that, just something fast to guide us. So our line AC, I'll put A here, I'll put C here, is seven centimeters. Then we have angle BAC. The angle is going to rest on the point A. The angle is 120 degrees, which is an obtuse angle. 120 degrees Y side AB is 5 centimeters so this point B should be somewhere A and then the triangle is completed by joining C to B or B to C so we expect to have a triangle like this and there is going to be a locus around the point C so this sketch is okay as a guide to what we are to do now on to the proper construction work we are starting with line AC, which is 7 centimeters. So we measure off 7 centimeters off a ruler with a pair of compasses. Here is the 7 centimeters carefully measured. And with it, we draw arcs. So from this point to this arc, I will draw the line, or better still, draw from here another arc. So from this point to this point, we join by a straight line. And you may want to measure it to confirm that it's indeed 7 centimeters and it has not changed, as you can see. The next is to construct, okay, we can put um, C here. Here is the point C and here is the point A. The next is to construct the angle of 120 degrees resting on the point A. Now, that one will be done by setting our compasses to a small radius. Then we trisect, we draw an arc first from point A to cut the side CA at a particular point, though we may not need to la uh, label the point. So after drawing this arc, then with the same radius, we trisect the arc out. From here, we draw an arc to cut the first arc. And from this point, we'll draw another one to cut the arc again. So drawing a line from this place to the point A should give us 120. Now, the next thing, we are given side AB as 5 centimeters. So we measure 5 centimeters of the ruler as well. So that from A, we can draw an arc which is 5 centimeters. Now, here is 5 centimeters measured carefully. So with it, so with it from the point A, we draw an arc. Every point on the arc to point A is 5 centimeters. 
then what we do is to join the points A to the trisection that we made earlier on and to the arc of 5 centimeters drawn. Before we proceed, this is the point B. This is the point B. Before we proceed, let's measure the angle to see that it's indeed 120 degrees. So as we have it here, as we have it here, this is 120 degrees. Then we join points B to C carefully by ruler. That is the first part of the construction done. The second part talks about two different loci. The first one is locus L1, or points that are equidistant from A and C. This is A and C. So points equidistant from A and C, points that are at equal distance from A and C will be the perpendicular bisector of the line joining A and C. So we are going to bisect, and to bisect using a radius which should be longer than half of the line. We draw from the point A an arc above the line. We draw another one below it with the same radius from the point A. Then we go to the point C and draw an arc with the same radius and draw to cut the one at the top and we draw with the same radius below it to cut the one below. Then we join the meeting points of the arcs together by a straight line. We are to call that L1 according to the question. So somewhere here you can put L1. And you may want to confirm that it's indeed a bisector of the line. And as you can see, 3.5 centimeters apiece. The second locus is the locus of points which are 4.5 centimeters from the point C. And the locus at a given uh, distance from just one point will be the circumference of a circle at the given radius, radius of the given value around that point. So for the locus of all points which are 4.5 centimeters from C, we are going to need to draw a circle with C, the point C as the center, and the circle is going to have a radius of 4.5 centimeters. So we measure 4.5 centimeters of the compass. Again, here is 4.5 centimeters measured carefully, and with it, we draw a circle with point C as the center. Again, that is to be called L2. So we've got locus L2. Now, the next question says, uh, the next instruction says that we should locate the point of intersection of L1 and L2. And the points of intersections are, point of intersection, they are two. We have to call them N1 and N2. Here is the first point of intersection to be called N1. Here is the second point of inter intersection to be called N2. Now, to measurements problem on it, to, we have to measure certain sides. So first, we have to measure N1, N2. And secondly, we have to measure BC. So N1, N2 and BC. Those are the lines to measure. We can do that with the help of a divider. So we place a divider on the point N1, N2. To take up the to take the measurement and we read the measurements of a ruler so you can see the compass is set on n1 n2 then we transfer that to the ruler to know what it measures transferring this to the ruler so you can see here gives us 5.6 centimeters so n1 n2 is 5.6 centimeters 
then BC. To measure BC, we do the same thing. Measure with a divider from B to C. Now we have measured from B to C with a divider. We transfer it to the ruler to pick the measurements. So from the ruler, as you can see, that is 10.5 centimeters. So BC is 10.5 centimeters. This is the solution to the 2023 NEPO mathematics question that's question 11 which is the geometrical construction question